Stepping on sharp bricks is fun, but it doesn't always hurt enough. That's why I made these. Metal building bricks sharpened for every Curiosity Box subscriber. They're functional and strong, but can they be destroyed by liquid metal? If you squirt some gallon stand on an aluminum can, a few minutes later the liquid metal's atoms will have amalgamated the aluminum's crystal structure, compromising its integrity. It's called liquid metal embrittlement. Let's do it to our aluminum brick. Yeah, that looks good. You know, after I did this, I thought it looked so good, I went ahead and added the brass one. And then I was like, what the W, let's do them all. We should scratch their surfaces to remove any protective oxide layers and then let them rot overnight. 17 hours later, they're fine. Strong as ever. Hmm, well, you know, a higher temperature could help, so let's cook. Mmm, a silvery, shiny stew hot enough to lighten frost water. <laughs> Nevertheless, they've persisted. You're welcome. Even though most elemental metals are susceptible to liquid metal embrittlement, I didn't plan it this way, but the alloys we chose for our bricks resist it. For example, soda cans are made of aluminum 3004 and aluminum 5182, but we used aluminum 6061 for our bricks. By the way, shout out to Tommy Technetium, who used X-ray fluorescence to show that we accidentally swapped the images in our magazine. The dark brick is the zinc, and the lighter one is the steel. Each one will make a beautiful addition to your projects, and if left lying around, they can send you to the hospital whenever you want. And we now know that unlike most pets, they can be safely bathed in liquid metal.